It's the date mass, and yes, we're back with another bang girl. We have an epic one today for you guys. Make sure when you come in, you hit the like button, you hit the subscribe button, and you also hit the notification bell. This is going to be a banger. So I've been seeing this post float around, and you should see the comments. Now, I always say women do not share glory, but they damn sure will share failure. With this post on the left that, uh, in quotes, I'm not sure who made this original post, and on the right, we'll get to this, is going to be like a split video, but they tie into one another very well. Stepdads are men that women wouldn't date if they didn't have kids. Now, I use Eva Marcia, and I don't want to make it seem like I'm picking on her. I know she's been mentioned in my videos, but if you go and look at the story with her recent divorce husband at the top left, look at the facial expression versus the one she had the baby with. I think that's Kevin McCall at the bottom, and then she also dated Lance Gross. These three pictures firmly confirm that statement when you look at the facial expression and the happiness so to speak that she exhibits when she's with her husband who adopted her daughter versus the men who i don't i don't think she had a, a child with kevin mccall at the time of the photo and then also dating lance gross you see look at the facial expressions you see this and I've seen women come into the post on, you know, a few men shared, a few, a few women shared, and they tried to tear it down. They tried to say that this is a post tearing down men. When have you seen women come to a post in the aid of men? When have you sh seen women share the success when a, when a, when a, when a post goes viral and said women are the most educated? When have you seen women in the comments saying men are too? When have you seen... Women making a post or a post being made that women are such strong parents, they do everything they can. When have you seen a, a comment from a woman under that post saying men do it too? Never. But with this one, this is very interesting because I saw a, a guy that one of my one of my guys, he shared it. And a woman came fighting tooth and nail saying that he was tearing down men. So I always tell you guys, psychology it's one of the best things that I've ever gotten into. It's like it's a gift and a curse. It's the, it's the best and the worst because ignorance is bliss. You have people willingly walking around ignorant, happy as hell. But I'll point out to you why the, the women, the few that did come to the post in the aid of men. It's because they are married to a stepdad in which they know for a fact if they didn't have kids and were still in their prime, they would not look that man's way. This is a fact. This woman did not have kids. She wouldn't be screaming stepdaddy season. Looking for the first simp to take her on because she knows the manipulation game. You got women coming to the aid, but they never come under the post where it says women are the most educated, the most successful doing this and that. You never hear these same women say men do it, too. So why are these women coming under this post saying men are tearing down men or this post is not accurate when we know it is? Look at the three pictures that I you think it's a coincidence. I, I just made these three photos up of even with Kevin McCall and Lance Gross versus her husband who went through the process of adopting her daughter. In which she chose to leave. Look at the face. Fellas, if you if if she did not have kids and you see a lot of guys, they know. And this is a sad reality. And this is not me beating up on men. This is just me calling out an observable reality because. With us men, we know our rank. Now, some of us choose to accept it and they'll lay at the bottom. You got men that are forever going to be bottom feeders. You got women who are forever going to be bottom feeders. It is a, it's a pyramid. You choose where you rank by the work and dedication and sacrifice in which you're willing to endure. You choose your rank. You want to be a peasant. You want to get leftovers. You want to be a stepdaddy. You'll linger at the bottom with the bottom big belly chicks who got kids and who are easy lays that's what you'll get because that's what you chose to settle for then you have those at the top or those who are in the middle who are choosing to not settle for less and doing the work and the sacrifice necessary to rise to the creme de la creme 
But you had these women coming on this post talking about this is not true. You're tearing down men. Bullshit. Because you're going to hear the stories of their baby. Well, you got any pictures of you and your younger and your, 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 your child's father? You can see all 32 goddamn teeth. But once they get to stepdaddy season, they're in desperation season. They need someone to help cover the financial load. So she does not love you, which is why she went through the. Do you know what the process is to adopt a child is? You it's it's not like going to get your passport. It's a thorough investigation and background check when you go through adopting a child. You have to go through so many services to legally adopt a child. So why would this fool Put this man through adopting a child and going through the process later to leave him talking about this, that and the other, which is bullshit. Because hypergamy never sleeps. So let's tie in the second the, the second topic, uh, date master. What's on the right? Well, in today's climate, which is exemplified on the left, you damn near have to be Superman to date Lois Lane. So look at the thumbnail. I'm going to break down this image and what the, the whole Superman, what it really exemplified and what it represented. Here you have Clark Kent. Or here you have Superman. Who is kal -El, Posing as Clark Kent, in which Clark Kent is the exact person that Superman is just without the recognition. Lois Lane works with him every day. He's a good guy, everyday working class man. He gets no attention from Lois Lane at all. But when Superman shows up for the five minutes that he does show up, her panties are soaking wet. That's who she fantasizes about because he has the status and the power. Meanwhile, not knowing Clark Kent is indeed Superman. Looking him right over because he doesn't have the status and the clout and the power that Superman has. That she thinks because again, Clark Kent and Superman are the same person. So what do I really mean when I say you have to be Superman to date Lois Lane? Well, basically what I'm saying is in most cases, there is no man who dates down. Now, me and cheat down, but in reality, men do not really date down. When you look at what women describe as the man they want, they always want someone who's superior. But in the same breath, play like they're the prize. Isn't that ironic? The same women shaming Paul Pierce for saying he want uh, Ruby Rose, his man crush, uh, his woman crush Wednesday. Ooh, he, oh, he nasty. These bitches are the same ones under Carisha and Didi Plus giving them hard eyes. Isn't that crazy as hell? And I think Diddy is older than Paul Pierce. A fool. So when I say you have to be Superman to date Lois Lane, I mean, you have to be a superior man to date a regular degular chick. Isn't that insane? You have to be rich to date a broke chick. In 2023, you got women fighting tooth and nail trying to campaign the me and pay all the bills uh, narrative. Because they know deep down inside they don't have any skills to generate any substantial income. But they are foolishly misled because, baby, in 2023 and, uh, and so forth, prices are not going back down, you dumb bitch. Prices are not going back down. The cost of living is not going back down. Your ass is going to work. Period. This is the untrained, unskilled fool who thinks she's going to get by on looks and fake femininity. We got women on the internet in 2023 thinking that they're not going to work. A fool. Pipe dreams. So I post on my Instagram. Facebook is full of ignorant and dumbass conversations daily. You got women who are not in the relationships talking about men cheating on them, trying to make sub posts or subliminal posts about men being scared of being taken for money that they don't got. Basically looking in the mirror, laughing at themselves because these are the same ones who would make that statement. But in the same breath, think a man of mean is going to come relieve them of all financial duty. Oh, what a beautiful fool you are. So the Superman dating Lois Lane 
is basically shown in the Eva Marcel scenario with her relationship background. Look at Lance Gross and Kevin McCall and then look at the guy because it's not so much about the look when they get into their latter years. It's about the durability and the usefulness to her lifestyle because she's not going to change. She's not going to downsize. She's not going to go from a three bedroom to a two. She's not going to go from a four bedroom to a three. She's not going to go from a five bedroom to a four. She thinks everything gets better as she ages. She's going to find out the hard way that it does not work that way, baby girl. You stepdads that sign up for this and you think you're being noble. You're not. You're being foolish. The same way you look at these NFL players, these NBA players who get waived after they do something and benefit for a billion dollar franchise when it comes to money. I, I think it was Danny Green. He cut his bonus for a game in half to give some cap space to the 70 fucking sixes who are sitting on billions of dollars later to be cut because it's business because it's business he think by doing this olive branch bullshit he was going to get some leniency and they still cut his ass same way women will do with you because no good deed goes unpunished. So you stepdads, and we know what the game you're playing. When these guys sign up to be stepdads, they're playing a psychological game to get some pussy. Some easy lay. These chicks don't really go on to marry these chicks. A few fools do if the chicks are able to keep that sex appeal and keep the look. They'll they'll jump in the, in the, in the marriage bed with them. But a lot of cases, they just get pumped and dumped and ran through. The, woman, the man who women likes to date versus the woman, the man who she wants to fuck is normally not the same guy. This is where the whole thing of sneaky links have come in. This is why you see endless interviews of these guys on the in Miami and Vegas and California asking these women, what are some of the darkest secrets you never told your ex? And they go on to tell them, I slept with your dad. I slept with your best friend. I slept with your cousin. I fucked my best friend's boyfriend. You see this? This is why you have to be Lois Lane. I'm sorry, Superman to date Lois Lane. You have to be everything in a bag of chips to date a regular degular chick because she's been fooled and lied to her whole entire life. But the wall, oh, the wall, the wall, the wall. The wall is that titanium 19 feet concrete reinforced thick wall that does not move worth a damn. And they're going into it at 90 miles an hour. And they don't know what's waiting for them. And they're going to crash. And it's going to be ugly. It's going to be sad to watch. But you must stay firm and stand firm. Because atonement does not come without destruction. Because in order to repair, you must destroy. It must be broken. It must be reimagined. So the dynamic between men and women which women are looking at men as disposable because you make yourself disposable. Anytime a woman needs something, here you are. Anytime a woman says something triggering, here you are. Anytime a woman makes a dating preference, here you are. Trying to sell, trying to advertise, trying to convince her to fuck with you. And you get what you get. But the stepdads are truly the men that women would not date if they did not have kids. You would not be in the runnings for a date. So you're going to see a lot of women up in arms of this because they're the women who are seeking stepdads. They're the women who are looking for the beta male providers to step in because the guy who she thought she was going to be with is not the guy who she qualifies for. But you guys, let me know what you think. Make sure, again, you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. It's the date master.